hello everyone this is the video to show how butterflies hatch out of cocoon and what are the things they do before their first flight so let's see what all happens so you can see that it's quite dark here so it's early morning at 5 o'clock that is this video has been taken so you can see the wings are still wet and it's folded so this is the cocoon you can see the cocoon there so that is the cocoon where this butterfly has come out from and so you can see the yellow color line thing so that is the t they have uh, it has still yet to be attached to each other and you can see the wings here still folded and wet so now the butterfly is trying to test its tentacles so now it's trying to flexibility its body by twisting left and right and also i think it is trying to remove its legs that are attached to the cocoon yet still so see that see that how it's moving its tentacles like after a long time in that small cocoon the butterfly has come out so it needs to adjust to this environment and need to stretch its wings and legs and body so it started with its legs and body right now so you can see how the wings has been separate only the upper wing has been separated right now just to check out with the antennas so the the butterfly is trying to check its antenna and its motion right now you can see the color of the antenna and as well as the wings how it is ro rolled over so the antenna is in black color and it has a red spot at its ends see the neck that has been lifted up so that is that is to free the antennas actually see check that check that now it is again lowered portion behind the wing that is one side the other side of the wing is always lighter wherever the where there is dark in the first side so the opposite side will always be lighter so you have white spots but here at the other side it is black spots cocoon how it is be it has been attached to the wing attached to the leaf sorry so you can see all these shining web like structures so it is the way the uh, 
centipede or millipede makes its cocoon. So that's the architecture of the cocoon. So this is the fifth time it is flexibility its body so now we can see the antenna has come out so it has been trying from that time to move its antenna and now it has succeeded at the first time so you can see the neck is lifted so the antenna is moved and you can see the antenna is still wet so it is pretty heavy for it to move it or shake it even. So now the wings are almost dry. So it has straightened up. And you can see at the anus of anus part, you can see a red or a orangish colored water drop. So that is nothing but the enzymes that was stored when it was in the cocoon it is actually throwing it out so the, bo the body weight will reduce and hence it, it can have a stable flight all the water and the minerals taken to the plant it will be uh, from the plant will be stored inside the cocoon during the cocoon stage so all those things which are been used and no more use from them are been thrown out so see 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 check it out again the antenna is moved in so now antenna is there it is able to lift it antenna slowly see the gap between the wings and the antenna till this stage so let's see what all tests and tests that are going to take place by this small butterfly so see how it is gripped even for the wing wind action even at this shake it is able to stand so you can see the water droplet on the cocoon you can also observe that the body of the butterfly is now inside the wing so it has moved it inside the wing so all the water droplets will flow through the wing and you can also see how the veins are there on the wings so it helps in uh, strengthening the wings it's also said not to hold the butterfly with the wings because if the wind damages the life of the butterfly also reduces so the outer wing is free but the inner wing is closed you know why so as i told the body is inside the wing right now so all the water droplets that are letting out from the anus is actually is actually flowing through the wing and and it is falling out from the end edge of the wing to try it out. 
now the antenna is fully raised up and it is trying to sense it since the two antennas by itself you can see how it is moving it's widening and again it is joining back together and antenna together so it's actually trying to do something there trying to fix something at its tentacles so still it is a bit bit oh yeah now you can see that the tentacles that was separate that was into two halves it has joined together it is made into a straw like structure a single straw like structure you can see it is always wet at its tentacles so it's testing both its antenna and tentacles together and still two of its legs are inside the cocoon out and how quickly it rolls in so you can see the water droplet again now so the color of the droplet has changed so it, it is turning from orangish to transparent so that means the body is almost finished all all the used enzymes and it is just throwing the excess ones right now flight experience so I think it's time it's trying to spread its wings like I think it has sensed the block at its right wing and even it is trying to bring its other two legs outside the cocoon right how majestic so now the time is 7 7 o'clock and 4 minutes so it's almost 2 hours of process and now it's almost ready to its first flight it is trying to take some rest after its all testing process and it will be ready for its first flight so trying to find out if any 
predators are there to escape from them and live its beautiful life with the colorful universe. So you are watching the hatching of butterfly from Cocoon, videographed by me that is Kiran, all for you. Enjoy.